Alright guys, so uh, today we finally released the uh, new spawn changes for 1.4 on Jurassic World Live. Um, we actually had these spawns on like day one, but we had some issues with graphics, so uh, that's why unfortunately we had to uh, delay um, this article a bit. But uh, don't worry, it's, uh, it's we have it up now. Uh, I'll have the link down below. And... Uh, to be honest, not much has changed, so um, it's not too big of a deal. So, uh, anyways, uh, let's go into this. So, first of all, um, the biggest changes you'd see in the spawns are the addition of the uh, pterosaurs, and boy, did they add quite a few of these guys. So, uh, if you don't know, um, if you've never uh, watched any of my videos on spawns before, or if you've never read any of these, uh, the Meta uh, Hub articles on spawns. So basically, um, we have four different kind of spawns. So the whole world is split into um, different zones. There are four kind of zones, and like they could be uh, all beside each other. Like a city could have like multiple groups of these zones. So um, so dinos aren't based on countries or you know, there aren't any country exclusive dinos, there aren't any, you know, city exclusive dinos. It's just um, these little zones that are uh, tightly grouped together. So you you might find um, sometimes uh, find it difficult to see certain types of dinos, but all you have to do is just go out like um, a, a bit further away from your local area and then you should find all the other local zone dinos. So uh, let's get into this then. So first of all, the global spawns. Uh, so these are the uh, dinos that spawn globally. Uh, so it, they could spawn in all parks. They could spawn in all the local zones. And the major changes we see here is that um, Dimetrodon Gen 2 and Monolophosaurus Gen 2 are now added to global spawns. Uh, they said that this was temporary, but so who knows how long they'll be. And the biggest one is probably the Bracky that's added to the global night spawn. So they spawn at night, also dawn and dusk too, but at like a lower uh, chance. So uh, yeah, they could spawn anywhere. And they uh, unfortunately split the spawns for Baryonyx. Uh, personally, I've seen three Brackies um, already since the update and Every time I see one, I think, oh, it could have been a Baryonyx. But then again, it's Bracky, so it's not too bad, I guess. And another one is that they added Hatchyopteryx, I think that's how you call it, to the uh, Anytime spawns. Um, so uh, you can find them everywhere globally, and uh, it should be good. They also removed a few of them from global spawns, and I'll get to them when I get to where they got moved. So uh, next one is the... Uh, park and green space spawns, which speaking of the ones that were removed from global, uh, you could see that uh, Majungasaurus, I think that's how we call it, and uh, Nundasuchus and uh, Ineosaurus have been moved to parks. So the, uh, their, the this whole combo has been moved to the parks. So that's the one major change. And then the other change, um, huh, where's Ineosaurus? Huh. Oh. I guess this uh, graphic probably needs to get uh, fixed, uh, but uh, it will it, 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 it it'll be updated. So uh, another change to it is that uh, Trandons are now in parks, uh, which split the spawn for Gryposuchus, which is that's totally all right. No one really cares. And then uh, the the other one that's got added to parks are Quetzals. So if you want any Quetzals. Um, if you haven't unlocked them yet, uh, just go to your local park, and same for Trandon, just go to parks, and then you should find them. And obviously, Dime Gen 2 and Monolophic Gen, Gen 2 have been taken out of parks. So next one is uh, starting with uh, Local 1, we're going into Locals now. Uh, nothing, absolutely nothing has changed for no Local 1, so there's you know, nothing to see here. And while we're at it, uh, nothing has changed in Local 3. So Local 1 and 3 are all the same. The ones that changed are local two and four, and it's a really minor change. All they did was swap Dracorex for Spinosaurus, so now Spinosaurus Gen One is a local four dino, and Dracorex is a local two dino, which is 
pretty good since Utah Rhinox got a decent buff. So for those who got a lot of Spinosaurs uh, last patch in Local 2 and didn't get enough uh, Dracorax, now you could <laughs> hunt all the Dracorax uh, you have. And then for those you know who didn't have so much Spinosaurs, uh, well, Local 2 uh, or Local 4 always had a lot of Spinosaurs, just not the last patch, but the patches before. But anyways, you got Spinosaur back again, so... Uh, that's, that's okay, since Spinosuchus is, is, uh, it's, it's okay now, it's not as horrible as, it, well, it never was really horrible, it's just, uh, it just gets countered so easily, <laughs> that's a problem with Spinosuchus, and it, and that's still a problem with Spinosuchus, but Spinosuchus now um, picks up some decently important, uh, matchups, which makes it a bit better, I'd say, um, the DOT change is nice for it. And uh, I personally don't like its move changes, but um, it, it got a new tech move, which is nice. So uh, looking at these four locals, I mean, honestly, if we were to rank these four locals, local three is quite obviously one of the worst. It's probably the worst. I'm sorry, not one of the worst. The other ones are all quite good. Local 3 is not doing well at all. Uh, Gorgosaurus, that's not <laughs> that's not super useful, and even if you want to use it, Gorgosaurus has been a global spawn for so long it's not it's not really relevant. They're a uh, hybrid common. Uh, they only have one. Well, most other locals um, or not most other locals, the other two locals, uh, Local 2 and Local 4, they have uh, uh, two and local four actually has three. Uh, local two has two, and the one they have is Diplo, which only makes Diplotator, which is decent, but it we don't really see much play in uh, higher ranks. Uh, Tojango is always good. Tojango is probably their only. It's probably their their best spawn in local three. Uh, Karno isn't too useful, but you know, same with the other locals. Each local has one of these. Um, the Raptor Pack plus Karno, which all aren't though useful, that useful, but Karno probably is the most useful out of the four, since the chances of it getting a hybrid are is a bit higher than the other ones. And then we have Guandan, that's not helpful. Uh, Trike Gen 2, that's not helpful. Uh, the two Epics, the two Epics that have hybrids in Local 3 are one of the, or two of the, um, less helpful ones, uh, Erlico and Mono. Mono can make Mono Stegatops and Mono Mimus, but when you're making Mono Mimus and you live in Local 3, you probably have enough Mono, mono DNA, but not Galley DNA. And Erlico is not so useful. It only makes Erlodom, which, which, it, which isn't bad. It's not a bad dino, but there are, like, in comparison to the other locals, they have way better stuff, so that's very unfortunate. And then the all the other three uh, locals are really really good. Local one, I'd say, is probably the best local at the moment. Um, just considering you know it's common spawn, uh, it has uh, Euphlocephalus. That's you know you need that to make a uh, Triodistus, which is very important. Uh, you have uh, Dilo, which you can make Dilorano, which then turns into uh, Dilo Uh Concave isn't too important. Um, a Mega, you can make Megalosuchus, which isn't too important. But um, there are people who like to use Megalosuchus, and um, if it works for them, I I guess uh, like Megalosuchus is weird. It has very limited uses, but when the when it is in a situation where it's needed it does the job very very well uh sino is really good for local one sino is the sino hybrids got a huge buff so local one the sino hybrids that's great uh, kentro is obviously one of the most valuable epics in the game at the moment so that's really great local two also got a huge buff because uh of the introduction of uh dilo Rakyrus which you now need um, Arano and uh, a Dino Kyrus to make, along with uh, 
a Dilophosaurus from Local 1. It also now has Dracorex, which is a really, really good rare. You need that to make Utah Rhinox. It also has Dimetrodon, which you need to make a uh, Magna Pirator. Uh, also, you, you need, um, uh, you have a, a Pyraptor, which is need to make um, a Pyritator, and then, which also goes into a Magna Pirator. Although, um, again, uh, the same problem is you probably, it's easier to farm Pyraptor than it is to farm Pyritator, but it's still good to have it. And then Local 4 is still really, really good. Still has Anki. Anki is still uh, a very, very important uh, epic. Although I'd say probably now the worth of Sino is probably crept up to Anki. And uh, Sukumimus is always good to have. You can make Sukutator. It's a great... Um, if you have a spot on your team, Sukutator is really great at the moment. There's also a bug with Sukumimus right now, which they say they're going to fix. So... Uh, yeah, that's that's a thing. Uh, Allosaurus, you can make Allosino, although um, it's usually you're short on Sino, not Allo. And then Draft Titan, make Notepad Titan, which is looking really good. Um, Parasaur, obviously, is one of the most important commons still. Rajasaurus is nice. Um, Dioraja got a buff. Raja Kylo got a buff. So it's really nice to have. Warosaurus is a really great um, rare to stand alone. Uh, Spinosaurus obviously is very useful so all the other three locals are looking really really good right now with the exception of local three so fortunately that's the problem right now and now we move on to nest spawns and um, for those of you who don't know nest spawns are uh, spawn points where they, they are like geolocations they're um, specific geolocations for example uh, you have restaurants pet stores etc and these places spawn these dinos regardless of the time of the day and regardless which local they're in so uh not a lot has changed um uh lawyer is still the same um uh, lawyer law firm i guess pet stores are still the same fire station still the same restaurants still the same uh beauty salon is still the same although um last time we kind of messed this one up um but uh it is still the same in game post office still the same police station still there transit station still the same plumber is still the same they add a new one which is travel agency so you have um i think that's two pentactylus or something i really can't pronounce these things and you got the quetzal uh trandon and hatch geopteryx which i think these are the only four available ones at the moment in the wild um for some reason the Sunji Yopter, whatever that thing is, that's not available anywhere. Um, uh, Alanka is Arena exclusive. I think it's Arena. It's the Lockwood Manor one. And then um, the Aramboros, whatever that thing is in the last Arena exclusive. So yeah, um, and Carter Paris shows in, like most of these are still the same. And then you got the addition of Bracky for gas station. So, yeah, that's quite nice. They have changed the spawn rates um, a bit this time. Uh, the only... I, I At the moment, I can't really remember all these uh, spawn rates, but the, um, the relevant one and the one I remember that got its um, spawn rates changed are the lo local epics. They toned down that rate quite a bit. Now it's the same rate as Global Epics, so you should be seeing Rexes at the same rates as your local Epics, unfortunately. And nothing else really changed on, on spawn rates. It's just, they, you know, threw down uh, local Epics. So um, now if you're hunting for specific dinos, like, um, for example, if you want Aranosaurus, oops, if you want a Rhinosaurus, which is quite an important dino at the moment, um, what the uh, uh, what you can do now with Sense is you could go to Local 2 at night, so that eliminates Pyraptor from the pool, and you have a 50% of getting an Orano in your Epic Scent um, when uh, it, it, uh, it triggers the... Um, uh, when it does spawn a local epic. So you only have Segatanto and Rano to choose for. You know, same for local one, 50% chance to get Sino, 50% uh, chance to get Mono in local three, 50% chance to get Raja in local four. And 
uh, and same for the rares. If you really want, um, for example, Dime or uh, Dracorex, you got really good chance of getting Dime or Dracorex at night using scents. So that's just a little tip if you're using scents. And uh, scents are tied to uh, a time of day, so you're probably not going to get a Kentro at night at local one, um, it's highly unlikely. Uh, there is a like tiny percent chance that any epic will spawn. So other than that, you probably won't get a Kentro there. But uh, anyways, that's uh, all we have for this um, spawn uh, update in 1.4. Not much has changed, but who knows? Uh, they could have another migration soon since they said that uh, Mono Gen 2 and Dime Gen 2 are just here uh, temporarily, so they might. We, we could see uh, another spawn change coming soon. But as for now, this is the spawns for uh, 1.4, and yeah, <laughs> that's quite uh, nice. Uh, although, and just one more thing, although they've toned down the local epic chances, they were still higher than before, uh, pre, you know. Uh, 1.3, which really is just 1.2. I'm not sure about the 1.1 since we never had the spawn rates for those. But anyways, um, uh, that's all for today. And one little thing, I uh, a little announcement I want to make before I go. Um, we are uh, we are creating a podcast for Jurassic World Live um, with me and um, many other uh, MetaHub uh uh, people, um, people who do great work on the website and the Discord, etc., who are very uh, passionate about the game, and uh, a lot of my friends, uh, we talk about the game a lot. Um, a lot of my knowledge is shared with them, and they really know a lot about the game, and it should be quite interesting. The first episode should be up on Saturday. <laughs> Assuming uh, nothing goes wrong, uh, it should be up on Saturday. And we're just going to talk about our general impressions of the update. So uh, look forward to that and subscribe if you're new so you could get all the contents, updates, and etc. And if you thought this was, this was useful, please leave a like. And tell me if you like these spawn changes or not in the comments down below. I personally... I enjoy Local 2 now. Uh, I, I used to be skeptical about Local 2, but, you know, uh, after uh, a whole cycle, um, uh, personally, my Randall reserves are still... I still have a lot from 1.2 and before. Uh, I still don't need Pyroraptor. I need Irritator. By the way, I'm 20 DNA away from Magna. Magna, and very unfortunately, um, during the Irritator event yesterday, I had... Let's... 16 10 fusions on Piritator and now I have 14 or 40 out of 50 or, or yeah 40 out of 50 on Piritator so all I needed was just one of those 16 10s to be a 20 and I could have a really good chance of creating Magna Piritator so that's very unfortunate but anyways uh that's all for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow